Hello, Miss Cinder. You getting some breakfast this morning? Guys, I haven't seen the barn cats in a while. They're doing pretty good. Raining out here, so we got a little bit of noise. Here is Miss Soot. I don't know what has happened with Miss Soot. Could be because every time she sees me, I have to do something she doesn't like to her. But she's not getting close enough for me to do anything with her. Or is she coming up here to eat while I'm still in the greenhouse? This happens every once in a while. I was really hoping I could get close to her because she's got a huge mat on her side. And I was hoping I could get it off. I have bought some trimmers, which have I've used on her a couple of times. Just You have to be really fast just to take off a mat. That seems to be faster, less traumatic, and easier than brushing, and definitely safer than using scissors. And they do work pretty good, but she's got to get close to me to do it. If that is not yours. Okay, now. I was bribing them with wet boots and so don't run away. So come here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's put it down here. Come on, so I had to move the bowl because your sister was eating yours and hers. You still had some in your bowl and you had to eat soots too. Greedy little thing. I see a tail over there. This is this is kind of an issue. Well, I won't stay out here too much longer because if I do, Cinder will, so it won't come back and eat that. Cinder will get it too. Won't you? Huh? I don't give them wet food very often, but I do use it to bribe them. And I mean, I think the last four or five times I've been the one that has fed them. This is the first time this weekend. But last weekend, I was home for about three or four days. I gave them wet food morning and night, trying to make friends with Soot again. Cinder's not a problem. Cinder's never a problem. I've never made Cinder, scared Cinder, and made her so mad at me she would not come eat. She just bad at me if she doesn't want me to touch her. But this little girl here... She's running away again because I, I walked over here. She just runs away. So I'm going to put her food over here underneath this chair. And I'm going to put some dry food. Look at this. Look at this greedy little thing. Oh, the rain's going to get loud. Now I'm going to put some dry food out for them. And I'll have to leave so the soot will come eat. Look at her. I'm going to get you some dry food. Just a minute. Oh, my goodness. That's just too good, isn't it? Oh my gosh. There you go. Somebody's just, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in there. Somebody's just starving today. I wanna be sure Miss Soot gets something to eat. So I'm gonna leave. Bribery is not gonna work very well this time if she just keeps, she just keeps running from me. Well, maybe eventually. I hope I can get that mat before it gets too bad, but it's almost the size of my hand now. And I've seen it there for about two or three weeks, but I mean, she's just not letting me get close enough to her to fix it. So, you guys all have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.